quick video on a fishing boat we are selling because um, it's raining. <laughs> this is a Field and Stream or Dick Sporting Good Angler 8. Uh, this is an 8 foot 7 inch fishing boat, uh, two person capacity, uh, in really good shape. I've only had this out three or four times. It comes with upgraded seats. Uh, these all swivel up top here so you can move them back and forth. Uh, and then these that are actually mounted right now fold down as well. So you can stow them. They snap here with this strap as well. Uh, and then it comes with the seats that the boat originally included, which are just hard shell seats. Also included is a very recent marine battery. Uh, it's a 24 uh, DC Group 24 Duralast marine battery. It tests really good. Uh, I posted the specs of the battery on the, uh, on the pictures as well. And then also included is a uh, Minn Kota, I believe this is a 30 pound thrust, five speed motor, um, fully adjustable for height, as well as, you know, going in and out. So when you're uh, getting into the water, you don't bump it. Everything works on this motor. You got five forward and you have three reverse and it works extremely well. Uh, what else we got? So I put on some rod holders. You've got rod holders front and rear, so here and then there. These do just pop right out as well, so you can store them uh, for the winter or when they're not in use. They're also adjustable, etc. I put on some ore mounts, so these are very easy to remove if you need to ever dock this or maybe you forget about the battery and you run out of juice, and they just clip right back into that. One life jacket's included. That is a child size life jacket, um, but I'll throw that in as well. You have a cell phone mount or a fish finder mount that is also included. Everything that I screwed into this is fully sealed RTV behind it, um, so nothing leaks here at all. You do have a front auxiliary port, and you can mount the motor to the front of the boat if you need to. There is a plug for this. I cannot find the bloody thing, but they're like five bucks on Amazon. I put some straps up front so you can, uh, two people can much more easily carry this or bring it to the boat launch. You got some mounts for your oars. You've got your front drain plug up here. Again, that mount. The other oar. This is just a kayak paddle. So if you're doing a single man trip, you can combine this if you want to. Make one long kayak paddle and make it a lot easier for one person to do it. Coming around back real quick. I did install two additional drain plugs. So one here, one here. And these are pretty easy to take in and out so you can drain it, uh, get it ready for the winter, etc. These things are kind of like a, almost like a pontoon boat. Um, they're extremely stable. You can stand up, you can wiggle around. You're never going to tip this thing. Um, everything that you see is about two or maybe three years old. So um, very, very recent. The batteries, uh, April of 21. Um, again, it tested 100%. So look at the picture for the test on the battery. A little dirty. I was going to clean it, but it is, uh, it's horrible outside today. So there you go. Um, Richmond, New Hampshire. Uh, very much near Keene and Swansea, and uh, that's it. Let me know if uh, you have any questions.